Alrighty. Should be good. Bueller. Bueller. Word. Alrighty. So what's going on, everybody? I hope y'all are staying safe and sane in this crazy ass time that we're living in right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit. And so naturally I'm starting a vlog. Uh, nah, but for real, as a lot of you guys know, I used to post a lot of beatboxing and rap content on Instagram, and I really enjoyed doing it. I was getting some traction doing it, but about a year ago, I kind of hit a wall where I was making the same video over and over, and I wasn't really getting the same engagement that I was before, and uh, I really stopped enjoying doing it. So I stopped putting out content about a year ago, and I really stopped making music for the most part. <laughs> And uh, for a while, I was starting to get pretty bummed out because I wasn't really sure what my new outlet was going to be, my new creative outlet. And about seven, six or seven months ago, I came across a YouTube beat making tutorial video. It just came up in my recommended videos. And up until that point, I had no idea that there was all of this um, information from producers out there online. And I kind of went down this rabbit hole of all these online beat making tutorials. And the more I watched these videos, the more I thought, hey, this could be something that you could be good at, and this could definitely be something that you would really enjoy doing. So about six months ago, um, I opened up my laptop and I opened up Logic Pro with the intent on making a beat for the first time. Up until that point, I had Logic strictly for audio recording. That was where I recorded my music and my beatboxing. I've only really been treating it like it's a job for about four months since about December, you know, committing multiple four, five, six hours a day to it every day. I've been doing that for about four months. And um, I've fallen in love with the process of learning how to do this. So while I haven't put out any content in the last year, I was starting to get the, the itch to put out content. I'm also super bored in this quarantine right now. And so what I'm hoping to accomplish with this is you know, just simply documenting my progress as a beat maker and as a producer. You know, I'm very much so just getting started right now. I have a long way to go, but like I said, I, I love doing this. I love learning how to do this. Uh, and I see myself doing this for years and years and years to come. So I'm excited to see how far I can take it, how good I can get at it. And you know, when I do get to that point, it'll be cool to look back and have some sort of documentation as to where I started and uh, how I got to where I hopefully one day will be. And about a month ago, I actually switched from Logic Pro to FL Studio. So I've been making beats in FL for about a month and I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh, I'm hoping that this new DAW will definitely uh, improve my workflow and, and uh, lessen my learning curve. So I'm excited to really master FL. So with that being said, uh, I'm just going to make a beat. I don't really have anything planned, anything in mind right now. We'll just see what comes to me and then we'll go from there. So I'm excited. Thank you guys for coming along. and. Uh, Let's get it. Alrighty, so I'll just show you guys how I made this beat. I'm actually doing this voiceover the following morning uh, from when I made the beat yesterday. I haven't even listened to the beat since I made it, um, but let's just hop into it. So I just got Keyscape, so I was pretty excited to uh, break that open. Um, so I'm just gonna start with some chords here. <laughs> not those two, definitely not. Alrighty, so clearly not playing those in time. I'm in 146 BPM, but just getting the chords that I wanted in the piano roll, and now that they're in there, I'm going to come up with the exact progression that I want. I didn't want uh, to have the chords come in at the end of every measure. I wanted there to be a, a little bit more swing, a little bit more movement. So there is the progression, and now that I have that, I'm just gonna add some simple notes up top. And once I have that there, I'm gonna open up M Rhythmizer, which is the essentially the exact same thing as Gross Beat, but you can use it in Logic Pro, unlike Gross Beat, so I bought it when I was using Logic. And I just threw some reverse on it just to give it a little bit more, you know, interesting of a vibe. Cut out the lows and the highs and the EQ. And now I'm gonna play a little counter melody uh, using like my favorite guitar in Atmosphere. <laughs> so.
So I played a eight measure melody there because I didn't want the beat just to be a four bar loop over and over. Cut out the lows and the highs, boosted the mid highs, and now I'm adding a nice chill snare to match the vibe of the melody that we got going right now. And uh, next up, I was feeling an 808. Uh, I just bought uh, 808 Waves kit because this shit is hard. Uh, so I'm gonna use this Spins 808 um, and come up with a little pattern right here. Um, this took me forever. I don't know why, this is like a super simple pattern, but uh, yeah, this is uh, the 808 pattern that I came up with. And then after that, I add a cool little hi-hat that was also in 808's kit right here. So yeah, I throw that at the end of every four bars, I think. And then after that, it's time for the hi-hat. Um, what I do with this first hi-hat is a little weird. I'm always down to try new stuff when I make beats, so I thought this could be a cool way to come up with a, a cool pattern. Uh, but it ended up being just a very simple uh, hi-hat like pattern that I ended up using just to provide my main hi-hat with some swing. So this every two step ended up being the main hi-hat and then what I played, the hi-hat that I made originally is just there to, you know, give some more emphasis on the downbeats. After that, we're adding kicks and hi -hat, open hi-hats. Uh, kicks are just matching the 808 pattern. And just a very simple open hi-hat pattern as well. And this is what we're rocking with right now. Um, so now that we got like the basic framework for the beat, I wanted to fill out the melody a little bit more. Um, so I copied and pasted the chord progression from Keyscape, opened it up in Omnisphere and was looking for a cool sound. Found this uh, music box that I, th I thought fit pretty well. Um, I went to pitch it up an octave and I accidentally hit the arpeggiator, uh, but I actually thought it, was sound of, it sounded kind of cool. So I just rolled with it, uh, added some halftime. it a little bit but I actually ended up EQing it pretty similarly to how I did the guitar so I really did not end up having the guitar and that uh, bell pattern play a lot during a, or it played during the same time that is um, so after this the next step was arcade I was trying to add uh, some hooked or arcade um, to the beats because it's just so dope so I got my little pattern made throwing a shit ton of reverb on it uh, after I EQ'd it Turn it down that dry knob to make it sound far away. And uh, this is pretty much the beat. Um, and then the rest of this is just me arranging and then throwing ozone on it and then making some final tweaks. Um, so it's gonna, the beat's going to start playing in a second. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments. If you think the beat was good, let me know. If you think there's anything I could improve on, let me know. I'm open to hearing everything. And uh, I'm excited to go on this journey. So this is going to be fun. <laughs>